What's going on you guys? I make so I got a Linola Tink Center M93P heavy tear down. So what I'll do is I'm gonna move the front cover basil. You're gonna press on this button right here with your finger, you're gonna slide to the left. And basically what you guys need is just a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head. And first I'm gonna do is remove the front cover basil. See these clips, one here in the bottom, middle, and the top. Press on it and you're gonna slide like this. Uh, be really careful, you gotta remove the cover, front cover basil if you're gonna pull this out, because if you don't, it could break off the plastic. And now this doesn't come off, see it's locked. There's a secure clip right here with your finger. You're gonna place it right here. That, then you lift it to the side, it comes out. I'm gonna disconnect the stadium power cable from the solar state drive. So this is kind of like broken right here, it doesn't come out. So you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and press on it like this. That should allow it to come out. And what I'll do now is, okay, so let's remove this. We'll remove the fence route. I'm gonna disconnect the city cables. First I'm gonna do is uh, remove the VD card. And you guys are not gonna be able to see, but there's a secure clip also right here behind the VD card. Then you have to stick your finger like this and press it down. Then you're gonna be able to pull the VD card out. Because if you don't, then you actually could damage your motherboard. So I'll show you. There's the VD card. And it's right here, the secure. You're gonna take your finger and hold the VD card. You see that clip right there? You're gonna press it down right here. A clip, you gotta hold it down like this, then you pull the video card. It's like a parallel port remove a wireless disconnect wireless cord. This looks like a, this is a serial port, the connector right here in the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the RAM out. That looks like a, for the front uh, header for the power switch. I'm gonna disconnect the CPU power four pin here. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a Phillips head, I gotta remove the three screws here in the back from the power supply. Now what I'm gonna do is remove the CPU heatsink cooler. Uh, the reason why guys, I'm using the left hand so you guys can see better. 
And also the camera's right in front of me, so it's really hard to do tear down. And what you need to do is get a, you need to get a paper towel. And you're gonna wipe this off the thermal compound before you're gonna pull the CPU out. Just slowly lift it up like this. And I also I'm gonna remove the CMOS battery. You're gonna take a flathead screwdriver like this, put a clip, let's hold it, and it comes out. Battery, CMOS battery. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to pull the motherboard out. And I'm gonna pull the power supply. It's also got a clip right here. You gotta take a flathead screwdriver. And you're gonna press it down. I'm gonna show you guys right here. Here's the clip, you gotta press it down. Then you're gonna slide it to the, slides off the power supply. So we'll go with the other back side like this. Like this internal speaker. And this side. Uh, before we're gonna pull the motherboard out, I have to make sure that all the wires are disconnected. Just double check. So what I'll do is I'm gonna start from the bottom. I'm remove the screws. One here, right here, inside. One on the top. And one here in the corner. So let me count. Three, one, two, three, four, seven, it looks like. Okay. So it looks like it's seven screws. Let me see. Let's go. I'm gonna pull the motherboard. Okay. Actually, it's eight. Eight screws, one here in the middle. Couldn't see. Okay. So there's one here, one more. A total eight screws. Because I couldn't see the state where the random was blocking. I couldn't see it. So, okay, eight. Looks like it's total eight screws. Here's the motherboard. Uh, this is a, it's actually micro ATX. So if you guys are wondering, where's the SATA 1 port? Right here, SATA 1. That's a SATA 1 port. Uh, SATA 2, that's an eSATA, and the SATA 3 port is right here. So the SATA 1, the main one for the boot drive, for the solar side drive is gonna be right here. This is for the SATA 1, right here in the corner, the bottom, that's the one. It says number one, number two, right here. 
and this is number three and the black one is the e-seta uh channel a is the green dual channel the channel a channel b must be the blue ones also on the back side so now what i need to do is i'm going to move the uh, I'm gonna close this up again. I've got a clip in here. And I'm gonna remove the optical drive. And before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the fan here. Looks like it's a 92 millimeter. Looks like I can't pull it. I'm gonna go dead aside like this. Pull out the fan. This is a 92 millimeter, uh, what is it, four pin? Yeah, it's probably four pin. And I'm going to pull out the SATA cables. And I'm going to pull out the uh, optical drive. It'll be the last part I'm going to do. Okay, so it doesn't come out. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up again. It looks like it does have a clip also, the optical drive. And to do that, see right here? Uh, it doesn't come out, so you're gonna click it right here. You click on it, and you're able to pull it out. That's the clip right here, the secure clip, you press on it. And it holds right here, you see that? Locks in, when you press it, it locks it like that. And will be the last part I'll do guys. This is for the front cover right here. USB ports audio. Yeah guys, I did so many teardowns, I couldn't remember how much the number, but it's a lot. I think it's close to 50 videos now. Yeah, why I made I made the videos, guys, just not for me. It's for the help of people around the world. So, to see how to do a tear down. So, okay, so this is right here. It's gonna be it. And the last part, I'm gonna show you guys. This is a front cover bezel right here, power switch. See that? It doesn't come out. And the only way you're gonna move it, you're gonna click a. It's hold like that by one clip. My plastic clip right here. You press on this right here and it comes out. This is a power switch. On and off and power LED, hard drive LED. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, bye.